Okay, we're talking from uh, the cockpit of the Rocinante today. That's our van. And uh, today we're going to talk about a little, it's mostly a secret. It's not very well known, time to find out. But this is really handy. If you've ever been out and you're camping off grid and the solar is just not cutting it and you need to use the engine to recharge, and this is, this is particularly for a late model transit that has the smart alternator. But this is something that could probably save your off-grid camp out um, and make sure that you've got power to run the things that you need. The other cool thing about this is it's right under your nose. It's right on the dashboard. And I'll show you here in just a minute. So we came across this one time we were camping and uh, it was a rainy weekend. And normally we don't do that but the whole idea was we were there for a trail run that you know was rain or shine so it was overcast and in some cases raining pretty much the whole time so we weren't getting any solar in addition we were kind of under some trees uh, there wasn't a lot of choices and there wasn't any sun anyway but we found that the batteries were running down and we weren't getting any recharge from the solar so the idea, we've always thought that we could just, you know, idle the engine and, and recharge, you know, at close to 50 amps. Well, we started to do that, and I checked the voltage when we first started, and it was fine. It was above 14 volts. But after 15 minutes, the voltage just dropped below 13 volts. And the Renogy charger that we had didn't like that and shut down, so we weren't really able to recharge. And... Along the way, we figured out what the solution to this problem is. So here's the secret. It's all about that start-stop button. That's Most of the time, it's just kind of annoying. And most of the time, we cancel the start-stop. And when you're at idle, you know, the engine doesn't do the start-stop thing, so you pretty much don't even think about the button. But come to find out that canceling start-stop also cancels the smart regenerative charging or SRC when the vehicle is in park or stationary. And what that does is that makes sure that your voltage is above 14 volts, even at idle. And that will allow you to be able to make full use of your alternator charging system. So how did we figure this out? Well, when we drove home, everything was fine and it charged up quick it was back up to hundred percent before we before we got home within a couple of hours started doing some looking around and there really wasn't much about this um, but I had sort of a suspicion that this might be the case so kind of ran a test I went ahead and you know ran the batteries down to about 60 percent and then started the charger pressed the button started the started the car and watched on the VRM portal and I'll show you the graphs here while we're talking and noticed that I was getting the full 50 amps with that button pressed in so that was quite an insight so I started doing some looking around looking on some forums and stuff and there had been a couple of mentions of this but nothing really definitive and then I was like certainly this has to be mentioned in the Ford BEM uh, for our 2020 Transit that is the body and electrical modification manual or something like that. But anyway, it's a very handy document. If you don't have it, I'll probably put a link down below in the description. And found out that, sure enough, when the vehicle's stationary, pressing that button in, um, disabling um, the engine start-stop, or putting it in the disable mode, also disables the smart regenerative charging. And that's what is keeping that voltage low, because normally the vehicle targets charging the starter battery to only 80 percent and then using the alternator as resistance during braking to dump current into that battery well that can just kind of create havoc when you're trying to get all the power you can when you're out camping off grid so if you're ever out and for some reason you don't have solar you're under tree cover it's overcast it's raining whatever the case and you're afraid you know you need some more juice Make sure to press that start-stop button to cancel the regenerative charging and keep the vehicle voltage above 14 volts. Also, while we're talking about smashing buttons, it'll really help if you 
subscribe and like this video and I'll try to be able try to deliver some more tips we're discovering things all the time uh, I've got a bunch of them written up and we're gonna make videos for them and uh, you don't want to miss them okay let's look at the data and see if we can illustrate what I'm talking about using the Victron VRM uh, which is a, a remote monitoring portal that gathers data from your system, keeps it up in the cloud, and allows you to visualize it, um, monitor it, do some uh, limited control, um, but also be able to have these graphs so that you can sort of see the performance of your system. This, this top area up here is what uh, is basically representing a single line. The blue line is the state of charge, and you can see this is from uh, that day we were camping and it was raining pretty much the whole time we weren't generating enough solar. So you can see we got down to about 48% and uh, that's what gave us a little bit of concern and um, caused us to try to charge it at idle. Down in this lower portion um, you're looking at voltage and current. Voltage is on the blue and the current is on the yellow line and you can see here where we tried to um, Do some charging and it actually worked for a little bit um, and then fell back down um, And then you can see here um, again where it started and then came back down within about 15 minutes and so we didn't understand the function of that button yet so we drove home and you can see on our drive home here uh, with this spike that um, it charged up pretty fast and we were charged up before we got home you can see here it kind of wrapping up the charging where it basically reduces the current um, then we got it plugged in which is where you can see this stable area over here and then in this area where you see the voltage kind of going up and down that's the fridge um, cycling turning on and off in order looking at the vrm portal again uh the next day and uh i decided to run a test and see if that button had any effect uh so we let it uh we let it run down here close to 60 percent um as you can see by the state of charge graph um then we started the engine, press the button, and you can see the current goes up to almost 50 amps until we get pretty close to fully charged. Um, and then it begins to tail off, as it usually does. Um, so we basically ran this test for about 45 minutes. I would say within an hour, we would have gotten from close to 60% to 100%. Um, and that's pretty good. That's a big difference between what we were experiencing with the test with the button pressed and versus when we were at the campsite and we didn't really know about this button. So that makes a big difference. That sort of thing can save your off-grid camping. If we'd wanted to stay overnight, we could have been fully charged in an hour um, and good for another overnight run with the fridge and the CPAP machine and that sort of thing. Okay, and on the dash of the 2020 Transit, here is the button that you're wanting to look for. It's the A with this arrow around it, I guess stands for automatic start-stop. But you use that to cancel the start-stop, but in this case, you're going to want to use it to um, cancel the smart regenerative charging. So it's right there, right in front of you on different models or different years that button may move around a little bit but i'm sure you already know where it is